Song Pond TV. Hi, and welcome back to Song Pond TV. Uh, proudly brought to you by songpond.com, of course. This is episode number seven. So if you've been joining us, uh, you'll know that we're going to carry on looking at our pentatonic scale shape today. I'm actually going to teach you with the shape that you learnt from last episode, episode six, I'm going to teach you a couple of licks that you can use straight away to get you sounding like a, a soloing legend. Okay, today's tip, I'm actually going to talk about um, w when you restring your guitar, just a, one simple thing that you can do to each of your tuning pegs, to each of your strings, that's going to help keep your strings stay in tune. If you don't do this particular thing, it's much easier for them to slip out of tune when you're playing, and you don't want that to happen because it can make you sound really, really bad, and it's not your fault. Okay, again, if you're watching this on YouTube or MySpace or maybe uh, via the Apple song, um, what do they call them, those things, those podcasty things, if you're watching it from here, don't forget to go to the songpond.tv website, that's .tv, not .com, where you can actually sign up to receive notification when I, or when we receive a new uh, release, a new episode, and of course you can also contact me to let me know what it is you want to see coming up. So that's go to songpond.tv and let me know via the Have Your Say uh, link on that page what it is you want to see in the coming episodes. Okay, straight into today's tip, and it's quite simple. Now we're going to cut to a shot of uh, the guitar headstock here. Now when you're restringing your strings, if you haven't done it yet, you might want to let a professional do it, or just give it a go yourself. But don't forget, the strings go through the actual hole in the, in the tuning peg, and they wrap around the peg. Now, many beginners uh, don't do this enough and they'll actually just wrap the string around the peg once. Okay, so you can see here, this is zoomed very tight on the guitar headstock and the tuning pegs. You can see here each of these strings, uh, the tuning peg strings, the string is wound around the peg two or three times. Now on the thicker strings it's only wound around a couple times and on these thinner strings uh, these, these tuning pegs here, it's actually wound around three, four, even five times. Because the actual string size is thinner, you can get it around the peg many more times. Now that will actually help stop the string slip. Now the strings actually do slip, and that's how they get out of tune. So the more it's actually wrapped around the peg, the more grip it's got on the peg, and the more likely it is to stay in tune. Simple physics, really. Make sure you're wrapping your strings around the pegs three, four, even five times if you can. Okay, today's lesson, we're going to carry on looking at the first pentatonic shape that you've mastered from episode 6. So here we are back again on the 7th fret, what I call the 7th fret position, that's where we put our first finger. Again, we knew and we know now from last uh, episode that this here, the very first note that we start with in this shape is the root note, this, and, and in the 7th fret position this is the B note. So just Touching back over the shape again, it's one four, one three, one three, one three, one four, one, one four. Okay, with a root here, here, and here. Those root notes are strong, good, safe sounding notes. They're home base, they're where you're always good and safe to land on at the end or the start of a lick, and it'll help make the lick sound like it should fit within this particular key or this shape. Okay. For next thing we're going to talk about just quickly is we're just going to call these notes in the scale. You'll notice that it repeats, and I'm just going to give them numbers. Root, we can call one. And I'm not referring to the fret position now, I'm actually just referring to the notes in the scale. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. It's not six, because that's back to a root again. So that's one again. So it just gets to five and then it repeats. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. There's only five notes in this pentatonic scale. The one's used three times because the root's in this particular scale pattern three times. So one, remember, one is a good, safe note to hit. It's in there three times. Okay, the first one we're going to do, we're going to start with our third finger on the tenth fret. So this is actually a, a two note in this pattern. So we've got one near the root note, two. We're going to bend up to... That's the target note. You'll notice I've got all three fingers bending up there. Okay, and then down. So 
So bend up to this target note, back down, and then strike our one note, our root note. I keep my first finger here and roll back onto this four note. So that's the movement so far. And then we end with our third finger on the five note, bending up to the root. So it would sound like. And that's the lick that you're going to do. In slow motion, it doesn't, when we slow it down, it sounds a bit funny and it's a bit hard to play. But we start here, it's just using this, this last, these last two strings in this whole pattern, starting on the two note with our third finger, bending up a whole tone, bending down. That's effectively what it is in slow motion. You want to build it up slowly so eventually it sounds like and use a bit of vibrato at the end. Now if you, you'll notice I'm doing a slow bend up and a slow one down. You can experiment with fast ones if you want. Totally up to you, but that's where you need to place your fingers and the order of which you can do it. That's the first lick that you can learn. The second one, we're going to start on the root note. We're just going to walk up. Root, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Bend up to the root. So it's just a Typical good, a lot of people use this actual technique to practice their scales where you go up one note at a time. Up like that, up through the scale. I'm taking that particular technique and applying it just to make a quick little lick for you to learn. Starting on the root in this position. One. And I'm calling out the names of the notes in, this, in the scale. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. I've bend up to the root. Again, you'll see I'm at the top of bends, or uh, when I start, I'll usually use vibrato. Now, if you're not sure what vibrato is, we may cover that in some episodes coming up. But again, slowing it down. Third finger is our starting point on the root position. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Bend up to the one or the one note, the root note. At speed it would sound like this. Okay, so there's two little licks that you've learnt straight away just using that one pattern. The one note, which is our root note, that's our home base. They're a great place to start and end on, just like we have done in these particular uh, licks. We're always ending on that root note sound. It just sounds great to end on that note. Okay, two licks that you've learnt with that scale shape. I want you to experiment and come up with another one and start bending those strings and start using some vibrato and get into uh, just using that pattern on a daily basis. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks for episode number eight. Don't forget to have your say and let me know what it is you want to see coming up. Bye for now. See you next time. SPTV. Proudly brought to you by songpond.com, where you learn to play your favorite songs.